Hi, I'm Polly Courtney, and this is a really short video about how to make a movie-style trailer for your book on a tiny budget. It's part of a series of videos about how to professionally self-publish your book, which basically means doing what a traditional publisher would do, but doing it better. You don't need to make a book trailer, but for me it was a good way of portraying the world of feral youth in a visual, bite-sized form. To make a good trailer, you need a writer, a director and a producer. You can be all three, but you need to do everything in parallel, so give yourself time. First off, you'll need a script, so you know what characters and locations to plan for. I planned mine out visually, based on scenes from the book. Then I turned it into a proper script, which got turned into a shot list. If you don't know what a script should look like, go on IMSDB, where you can download pretty much any movie script for free, legally. As a producer, you need to find a cast, scout out locations and pull together a crew. I used a local theatre to source a lot of my youth cast. For the adult roles, I posted ads on Casting Call Pro and Star Now. I arranged to hold the auditions in a room above a pub and brought along a special audition script. I filmed the auditions on my phone because it's really important to see how the actors look on screen. At this point, a filmmaker I'd met on Twitter got in touch to see if I needed a director. Yes, please. Once the cast was sorted, I needed to work out where to shoot the thing and who would shoot it. Together we scouted a few locations and eventually found a derelict council estate to break into. Then my director started talking about classrooms full of students in school uniform. I rushed back onto Star Now and got myself 30 extras. Then I rang every venue in London that looked vaguely like a classroom that could be booked at a week's notice. Then I headed off to buy 30 school ties, a bunch of pencil cases and a giant roll of greaseproof paper. By this point, I persuaded a friend to film the thing and another friend to be the production assistant. I got a makeup artist from Star Now and had a long conversation about fake blood and stab wounds. Miraculously, a classroom was found and my friend's house and piano turned out to be perfect for the second day's shoot. The best advice I can give to anyone wanting to make a book trailer is to expect the unexpected. The day before the shoot, my main task was to source 30 textbooks, 10 hoodies, two camping chairs, a pair of brown boots, a blackberry, some electrical tape, greaseproof paper, and enough chocolate to feed a medium-sized army for a year. When you're on the shoot, you need to play all three roles at once. You might even have to act. George shot Lenny. Anyone? Reggie Bell is dead. Once the shoot was over, I thought the hard work was done. Wrong. We still needed to edit the thing, including adding titles, sound effects, and music that I commissioned a friend on SoundCloud to do. One thing I learned is don't try and cut corners. You need to do everything properly, like getting the cast to sign a release form, getting permission to use any music, and being really honest with everyone about how and where the trailer's gonna be used. The biggest piece of advice I can give is collaborate. Off the back of my trailer, the lead actor ended up recording the audiobook for Feral Youth. Another member of the cast ended up recording a series of original songs based on the book. There's a music video in progress, and I've also been persuaded to do a whole load of readings with a production company on Spit It Out TV. Making a book trailer is not essential, but it's a lot of fun, and it helped me to sell Feral Youth to a whole new audience, as well as giving me the push I needed to write the film adaptation. I hope that's a bit helpful. Good luck.